Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips of South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to a jack leg edition of Southern Home Talk and that's really what this is. I already had this uh, fan for something else but I am going to use it for this purpose for now. And what this is is a simply an inline uh, four inch fan um, where you can hook duct work on both sides of it and it's made by Vivasun. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it and the arrow is the direction of airflow on this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off uh, one of those soffit vents up there, uh, probably that one right there since it's closest to the outlet. And I'm going to run the cord down uh, the wall and put it to a timer. Uh, so this thing will run uh, from say 11 to 7 o'clock and hopefully it'll push some air or force air from this lower ridge uh, or lower soffit area over to the attic fan which is on the other side uh, which I installed uh, a few weeks ago. If, I'll also have an episode on that too. It's a Remington solar fan and so basically this just has a plug. I'm going to have to cut it off so I can run it, run a hole through there and, and plug it in. So this is what it sounds like running if you want to hear it. And it's, it's blowing a pretty good bit of air and it's relatively quiet too so it doesn't take a whole lot of wattage to run this and so hopefully I'll be able to uh, reduce the thermal load in my attic even further uh, so keep watching guys all right guys this thing is up and running now uh, you can zoom into it so you can see it and this went really easy I just simply screwed it to the rafter tail right there and cut the cord uh, drilled a quarter inch hole uh, for the cord to come out ran it all the way down and I spliced it and had to add some more cord to it and it's now plugged in I am going to add a timer on that so it'll run say 11 to 7 and so basically I've just removed the cowling off the back of that and just simply unscrewed and also allowed me a little bit more room and allowed me to pitch it a little bit better too and so I'm going to put some boric acid up there uh, I always do that anytime I make a penetration into the uh, cavity of this house it works good on roaches and also other insects and so now all I got to do is just add this soffit vent back to it and that's going to be done and so I'll keep you posted uh, to see how well this fares and how much more it actually pulls the attic temperature and humidity down I'm still monitoring that so it's going to be kind of interesting to see uh, just how much of effect by adding this is going to do take care guys